Hello, hello, this is Mystic. This is Mystic, yes, let's get right in it. So I come to you today with the water sign. The water sign of the Pisces for the week of October 30th through November 5th. So yes, my water sign of Pisces, you are in an energy where you feel love. That is your mood and your energy in, in your career. You want more. Yes, you are stepping into your power at work. And for your, your stone this week, your stone is the blue agate. Your color is aqua. You're compatible with the you're compatible with the Sagittarius and the Aries. Your planet alignment is Saturn and Neptune. And your lucky number is the number 31. So Pisces, you're at an energy where you're at a turning point in your life. You're at a point where you are having an opportunity to an aspire. You're having a, a energy to grow into who you want to be. Yes, you are in an energy where you are going back. If you are in an energy where you are going to back to school, you are in an energy where you may be mentoring someone. You are in the energy where those love your opinion. They love your space. They are in the energy where you have the potential to do what is needed to do in this King of Cups energy. And when one is in the King of Cups energy, they are in the energy where they are showing strength. They are showing balance, diplomacy. They are sensitive to others' needs. This may be one that's a social one. This may be one that's a protector. They, this may be one that may be in law, may be in medicine, may be in religion. This is a person that is knowledgeable of their profession in this King of Cups energy. The time is now, Pisces, for you to connect with those that have, for, with those mysterious forces above. Remember, you're in manifestation like energies. You're in the energies where the power is in motion for you. You're in the energy where you're in this moon energy where you need to stop the fear, stop the anxiety. No one is in the energy where they want to betray you or have hidden motives. You are in the energy where your dreams are about to be fulfilled in this moon-like energy because it did not come re in reverse. You're feeling this way of the moon-like energy of deceit, of depression, of hidden motives because someone broke your heart in this Three of Cups energy. And you're having a hard time of letting it go. Yes, you you're not you're feeling uneasy about a truth and a truce and love. You're feeling that uh the dwelling, you're dwelling in past hurt and past guilt. You're in the energy where you're blocked and you're great, you're in a blocked and grief energy from new love because of this deception that went on in this moon-like energy. Thank you, Pooh. Okay, yes, you're been put in. Yes, you're in the energy where you're in a hang. Excuse me, you done did enough, Coco. Now be quiet. You're in the energy where you're in this hangman energy. You're in the energy in love where you're putting in the extra effort with your lover. You're putting in that extra effort to bring the spark back to your love life, whether in a married or committed relationship. You should avoid stagnancy in your relationship and pay attention to your partner's advice. You are both in a transition energy together. Re surrender and retreat to all those past hurts. You're in the energy where you're, you're received. You're in a new perspective energy. Suspend all of the past anxieties. Let it go. See it from a different viewpoint in this hangman-like energy. You're in an energy where you're trying to revitalize your relationship because it's important to you. And it's important to your partner. This is why you are working on that relationship. Excuse me, spiritual bells. You're now in that energy where some of the things that you did in the relationship was uh was in a 
a king of pentacles like energy you wanted control you wanted power however now that you had time to think about it you are self-disciplined and getting yourself together you are in the energy where you're saying our relationship is secure together and if we want to do this thing together we can do it right because you are a wise and patient being in this king of pentacles energy you're in the energy where you're receiving high money levels you're in the energy where luck is on your favor and you go witness to increase your savings levels because you are showing diplomacy that you can show determination that you can't save your money and don't spend it. However, this week may show increased commitments and it might leave less money. However, you have the money in your savings account for it so do not complain now if you didn't have the money you would be complaining but you got it in your savings account and you still complain just be grateful that you were able to save the money for this personal emergency stop acting immature about your money matters and it's come out two times so the divine is trying to tell you continue to save your money and stop being immature about it if you was in the energy where you didn't have the money, you complain. You had you in the energy where you 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 can take care of these emergency finances. You still complaining, and now divine is like, I'm giving you these gifts and these blessings and these monetary gains. I didn't give them to you to complain. I gave them to you to be thankful and gracious that you have the money on hand to pay for these emergencies that you have, Pisces. You are seeing, you don't see it from where the divine is seeing. You see, and divine is saying, my child, you seeing lack of foresight. You saying that the obstacles in front of you are too big and you can't reach it, achieve your, glow, your goals. I'm not putting you in the energy, my child, of delays or un, unable to complete this like journey that our father put in front of you. I didn't put you in that energy, my child, to be overwhelmed with demands. I'm not going to give you more than you can bear, Pisces. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, yes. What is the prayer for Pisces for this week? Pisces need to stop doubting themselves. Pisces is great. And just because some things didn't go your way, don't give up on things. That is building your courage. You can do it. It will get done. Your, your biggest enemy is you. Putting yourself down. Stop it, Pisces. Again, this is our divine telling you to stop dying yourself. Your faith has saved you. Now go in peace, Pisces, says Luke 730. According, hear it again. According to your faith, be unto you, says Matthew 950. Now, both of these have to do with your faith. Stop down yourself. Because our divine saying, you can do it. He right behind you, guiding you. You don't need nobody else on your team but him. Ding. And that wasn't supposed to fall right there, but it just fell. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, yes. What is the chakra for the, 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 uh, the Pisces? What is the chakra for the Pisces for this week? So Pisces, you you need to work on your root chakra for this week. And the root chakra stone is represented by the red jasper, the smoky quartz, the adventuring, the characteristics of the root chakra directly associated with the body and its survival. The issues with the root chakra includes un, an unfocused mind, not reaching your goals. Unable to stay still, mental fatigue, elements of arthritis. Also, the throat chakra affects your reproductive system, your tailbone, your pelvis, your legs, and your feet. The sound that's associated with the 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 sound that's associated with the root chakra is hum. The aromatherapy for the root chakra is cedarwood. Thyme sandalwood ginger the spur guys for the root chakra is archangel gabriel
So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, how does the dice want the Pisces to move for today? Let your shine through Pisces and think happy. Be happy this week. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe.